Why didn't you tell me about the wanking off bit? Sorry, I didn't think. Yeah, well, you should have bloody thought. Jesus. Did you do it? Of course I did. How do you think I got these trainers? What's going on? Who's wanking who off? Jeremy's been wanking off this bloke for cash. No, I haven't. It's not. Jeremy, that is so you. I always knew you'd end up doing something like that. What do you mean, that is so me? That is not so me. Hello. Ugh, alone with the mum. Just act normal. She doesn't know I'm not wearing any pants. Jez, I'm so delighted about you and Jamie. He hasn't had a proper friend since he was 13. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, we only watched The Lion King and his Fat Boy Slim DVD. Listen, I've been thinking. What with Ian's mum passed away? We've got the Volvo and the Subaru. Maybe you could have her all golf. Wow. You could come and see us at, and Jamie. Right. Well, brilliant. One Jesmobile. No strings attached. I mean, obviously, loads of strings, but just ignore the strings. So, what you making, Mrs. C? Just some Blair resignation jam. Oh, right, Blair. Yeah, I see. Nice. I theme my germs. Makes them more fun. Cool. Very cool. Do you like jam? Uh, yep. Yes. Sometimes I feel like I could do with a friend out here. Yeah, that's, it's good to have a friend. Have a proper taste. Suck mommy's finger. Do I suck the finger? Good? Mmm. Very good. I mean, I've got a girlfriend. Try the Diana Memorial Strawberry. OK. I'm finger sucking. Is this wrong? Maybe this is totally normal. Maybe this is what they do in the country. Good. You like it, don't you? Yes. I do like it. Try this. Maybe she just likes having her fingers sucked. I mean, I don't mind, but eventually it's going to get cloying. I expect you've noticed that Ian's a little older than me. He used to enjoy doing lots of things that he doesn't like doing anymore. No, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. So, there you are. I'm a woman. Indeed. And you're a man. Technically, mm-hmm, yes. So what are you going to do about that? OK, it's not going to be just the jam. So what am I going to do? It's almost like a moral decision, but not really, because no one will find out. Staff party, Nancy, sauna, champagne. This is the kind of thing that should be happening to me on a daily fucking basis. Jeremy, where's Eva? Oh, she went to chill out in the flotation tank. Right, aren't you two supposed to... No, no. I made a joke about Lechfluenza and she took offence. And then she started getting really snitty about UK hip-hop, so things just fell apart. Oh, that's a shame. Could use my sauna line. <sighs> cool, it's like a sauna in here. <laughs> Classic line. That is just a great line. Got to manoeuvre more dates into saunas. So, um, how's it going? Enjoy the party? Not really. Matt spent the whole evening looking straight past me. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Uh, as a matter of fact, I did, yeah. How'd it go? What did he say? I probably shouldn't tell you. Oh, come on. Please. He said he's not really into anything serious at the moment. He's looking for, quote unquote, a fuck monkey. A fuck monkey? He said that? Yeah, and not even the good kind of fuck monkey. I can't believe he would say that. Men do and say horrible things. I know I have. But I'm lucky because I've been given another chance to be your friend. And I wouldn't trade a moment of that friendship for a lifetime of fuck monkey jungle action. What the? It's Eva in the flotation tank. She must have hit the parrot. Oh. The gooseberry's revenge. That hairy gooseberry. She couldn't just stay in a bloody punnet, could she? How did they get on there? I don't know. Maybe some stoned weightlifter playing a prank or something. I couldn't get out. It was so dark. So dark. Still, there were worse places to get trapped, right? I mean, you must be bloody relaxed by now. Jeremy, you promised you'd play with apparent enthusiasm. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You can so tell this game is over a thousand years old. Yes, it's very sophisticated. It's your move. I don't want to play anymore. Because I'm winning. No, not because you're win- I don't even know who's winning. Here, Mark. I'll tell you what. If you piss in this bottle, I'll drink it. What? What the hell for? For a laugh. It's the stag. No, Jess. If you drank my piss, I'd feel violated. Oh, that is great. 
You wouldn't even let me drink your piss. I'm not trying to kiss you, Mark. It's liquid waste. I'm sorry, but no. You wouldn't let me drink your piss. Why would you even want to drink my piss? For a laugh. What the hell made you think of that? I'm just bored, okay? I'd let you drink my piss. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. It's doing our nuts in. Let's go and get you some sweet punani action. I don't want sweet punani action. I want to take your bishop and grind you down. Here, look, take it. And the horsey. Come on, man. Couple of pints, couple of hotties. Yeah? Come on, tiger. Let's roar. Oh, God. I wish I lived with the chess computer. The chess computer wouldn't make me do things. I feel so bad about betraying Mark. Still, now that's not for Jez's snog book. Oh, he looks terrible. Looks like he could do with a friend. Mark? God, I really hope I don't still smell of Sophie. What's on the piece of paper, Mark? What? Is there something on that piece of paper that's made you sad? You know what this piece of paper says, Jeremy? Is it something to do with history? Have they stopped history books? This piece of paper says that I am fucked. Oh, that's horrible. Who sent you that? It's my plan for Project Zeus. Let's have a look. That's what I've got to go through that door and pitch to the entire JLB board in ten minutes. Shit. I'm about to walk into a boardroom gangbang and get fucked by the biggest swinging dicks in corporate strategy. Maybe you should run away. Right, thanks, Jez. Well, I mean, people say it like it's a bad thing, you know, running away from your problems, but if your problems never catch up with you, what's the hitch? Right, well, in this case, there would be repercussions. What do you care? You'd be in the woods playing the ukulele with the rabbits and the squirrels. I suppose I could run away. Do it, man! I think that was good advice. I mean, I didn't actually expect him to do it. Maybe I wouldn't have said it if I thought there was any chance of him actually doing it, but... Yeah, there he goes. God, I'm running away. This is brilliant. Maybe I'll go to a KFC and have a whole bargain bucket. Or I could join Al-Qaeda. Maybe I'll marry my lap dancer. I do think in a weird way we had a connection. Fuck the blockbusters, fine. I'm going clear. Hiding out in a car park. He's not exactly Grizzly Adams, but it's a start. Jeremy. Where's Mark? What the hell are you doing here? I know my rights. I've spoken to my friends at the Citizens Advice Bureau. Pay up or I shall make a disturbance. OK, sure, fine, if it will make you feel any better. Here, 380 pounds, cash. Will that do? I'll take it. And you know what? This means nothing to me. I haven't got a penny in the world, Suze, but this means nothing to me without you. There, you see? Now do you see? That's how I feel. Now you go back out with me? Uh, no, Jez. I'm just not really that into you. In that case, if you'll excuse me. Shit. This could be difficult to row back from. This isn't a misspelled email. This is going feral. I mean, rejecting society and seeking the company of wild creatures, that's not going to look good on my quarterly review. What's Jeremy stealing? Hotel napkins? Mark? What the fuck? Why are you hiding behind a bush? Aren't you meant to be in the big meeting? It doesn't work, Soph. Project Zeus, it's unworkable. What am I going to do? Hey, look, it'll be OK. You know what? You should just go in there and tell the truth. The truth? Soph, this isn't an advert. This is real life where cocks get chewed off and asses get stuffed with compliance reports. Look, I know it's corny, but just tell them this is real life. Smelling the flowers, all that reports up bums stuff. That's the bullshit. Just tell them the truth. You're sorry, but you tried. Do you really think? Of course. Hmm. Maybe she's right. Maybe the truth does work. Maybe Iraq was a good idea. Maybe I am putting enough into my pension plan. Maybe computer games aren't a waste of time. Maybe OJ's innocent. Maybe everything's going to be OK. <laughs> Everyone's wondering why you climbed in through the window, Mark. Yeah, well, I, I don't play by the rule book. What, what can I say? You don't use doors? Every window is also a door. Not every window. 
Well, that depends. I mean, not, not tiny windows. I love a tree window. OK. Mark is now going to take you through the detail of Project Zeus. Right. Here I go. Palms dry, mouth dry, interbatic area moist. So, uh, <clears throat> integrating sales and marketing. Project Zeus. The bad news is it doesn't work. But look, big picture, so what? Maybe we shouldn't be in the credit business at all. Maybe we should look at uh, human rights or, or global warming. I mean, these are just ideas. But uh, where's the humanity? I, I suppose that's what I want to ask you today, if, if anything. Where is the humanity? Old friend. Shit. I'm crashing and burning. That stupid bloody hippie sold me down the river. Plan B. What is plan B? Right, OK, you're going to stop the murmuring. Please, stop murmuring. Unless you think it's nice to murmur at someone who's... dying. Did I just say that? I did just say that. Yep, that, that, that's right, I've got brain cancer. Half my brain's been eaten away all, already, probably, but I think I did a pretty decent job for a man with a brain tumour the size of a pineapple who, who's going to be dead within a month. Uh, plan C? Is there a plan C? Ah, oh, oh, my brain, my poor diseased brain! Yep, I'd just like to assure everyone that Mr Corrigan will indeed be dead in a month. Ugh, oh, this is not how I imagined it. Scrubbing my puke-stained wedding wear in a coffee shop toilet. Still, none of it's how I imagined it. Just wish I felt a tiny bit excited. Not like I was marching to the gulag for an undetermined crime. Thank you. God, look at her. I would break my own fingers just to spend one night with her. Ah, uh, Jenkins on Churchill. She is the perfect woman. Can I help you? Uh, can I get a filter coffee to take away? Sure, anything else? Might as well ask. Yes. Will you marry me? Sorry? You probably don't want to. I just thought I'd check. Right. Um, no, I don't think so. OK, that's fine. No biggie. God, what's happening to me? Am I really going to get married? Don't want to. But calling off the wedding at the last minute? Don't want to hurt lovely Sophie. Need time to think. How can I buy some time? Contract TB? But where from? No badgers. Try to get beaten up. I could say he's got a fat head. Call him a jizz cock. Not actually an insult. All cocks are jizz cocks, really. Be like calling him a piss kidney. Road traffic accident? Yeah, that'd kick everything into touch for a few months. Shit. Could I? Here it comes. Come on, Mark, take the hit. Keep your eyes on the prize. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, I, I didn't see you. You're looking straight at me. Must get injured. Well, y you should be more careful, you jizz cock. What? You could have had my legs off, you piss kidney. Arsehole. Arsehole. Yep, nice insult. Clean, clear and insulting. You OK? Uh, yeah, no, fine. But... Bit of a wobble. I, I just proposed to a woman in a coffee shop and tried to get myself run over. OK. Right. That is maybe a sign that everything isn't totally groovy. I think you're right. I, I shouldn't marry Sophie. I, I should call it off. Brilliant. Let's call this mother off. The old dude brothers are back. <coughs> One thing, you have left it pretty late. It will be a jilting. Oh, no. God, no, no. It's, it's not a jilting. I'm, I'm going to tell her right away. A jilt is at the altar. I'm, I'm not jilting. I think anything on the wedding day is a jilting. Nope. At the altar. He jilted her at the altar. But that implies he could have jilted her somewhere else. Come on, we need to get Sue Bands and go. I'm sorry you have to be out here with me watching this. It's just me walking about, basically. Penny wanted us out of the house, and what Penny wants, Penny gets. No, it, it's fine. I mean, if I wasn't here, I'd just be sitting around with Soph and I can see her any time. So come on, Mark. Why haven't you told her yet? Shh. Can he hear? He can't hear. Can you, you big fox-hunting, badger-baiting, tweed-shirt, bumfuck homophobe? Oh, shit. Bottle cap. Another one for the collection. So come on. Are you having second thoughts? 
I don't know, maybe. I mean, she's so nice. So what if I don't really love her? Charles didn't really love Diana and they were all right. Sort of. You don't really love Sophie? <laughs> what? No. That's what you said. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, no, because of distortion. There was probably a buzz that there might be an ancient Saxon coin right here. Stop it, Mark. I heard every word. And for the record, Jeremy, I may be a homophobe, but I'm no badger beta. So, I like your barn, Ian. It's full of crap no one has any use for. Maybe that's why I feel so at home here. Huh. Mark, if you don't love Sophie, you shouldn't marry her. Yes, that's what I've actually been thinking. That's what I'm going to tell her. The good impression thermometer is reaching absolute zero. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm glad. I'd rather you came clean now than start something that's not right. That actually takes balls. Well, th thank you. Sometimes I wish I had the guts to say something. Do something. What would you do if you were trapped in a loveless marriage? If you knew your wife was cheating on you? Shit! You know what? I'd probably just leave it. Let it slide. So, what's the best bit of metal you've ever detected? I know my wife. And I know who the culprit is, Jeremy. Oh my god, that's why he brought us out here. He's gonna kill me. Can you kill someone with a metal detector? Uh, Ian, I, I just want to say that I, I know that people can be very stupid and selfish, but it, it, really, it's our fast food culture of instant gratification you should be angry with, not... Dan. Fucking Dan Walker. Oh, thank you, Dan, whoever you are. Penny's probably been doing his curtains all day. Out you lot go, I'm ramming Dan. Oh, yeah, it was Ramadan at his place today. But he's no Muslim. Dan, what a filthy... Maybe it's time I did something. Show Dan who the Lord of the Manor is around here. What do you think? Uh, well, maybe we should just... Yeah, let's get Dan. Punish Dan. There it is. Dan's barn. Or you could just post something negative on the internet or blank him in the post office. That, that would send out a pretty horrible message. This is the law of the jungle. This is an eye for an eye. And you're sure you're poking the right man in the eye? Light it. Well, this is not what I expected. You think you'll be playing Simpsons Monopoly and you end up an arsonist. Still, at least it's not me he's trying to incinerate. What was all that about? Trying to get him to poke me in the eye? Let him poke Dan in the eye? Right, so instead of you facing up to your responsibilities, poor old Dan's gonna wake up with his barn burnt, saying goodbye to his no claims bonus. Look, stop moaning. We're out with a man who owns guns. You're chucking his daughter, and I've screwed his wife. Tonight is going, if a bit weird, extremely fucking well for us. I suppose you're right. Plus, maybe burning stuff is not normal, but less of a big deal out here than it is in a major conurbation. Exactly. I make your milk, you burn my barn. Like scrumping for apples. That'll teach him to put his dick where it's not wanted. Yeah, take that, Barney. Oh, God, I'm a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. Oh, I've always wanted to come somewhere like this. I love the funny women taking their clothes off and you lot just gawping. <laughs> what wasn't the last one a bit thin? Relax, Mark, we're relaxing. You don't want a great fat lab dancer, do you? Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, she's touching the tube. That can't be hygienic. Well, oh, how's it looking, Mark? Looking good, right? Oh, it, it is looking so good, Alan. Maybe I can work in a back room. There must be a back room somewhere that isn't full of mobsters or sallow men getting wanked. I think I'm gonna get you a dance. That's what I'm gonna do, Mark. That's what you need. No, Suze, I, I, I really don't think I, I, I really have time and soap and everything. An early wedding present. Hello, you. Yes, you. Would you do one to him, please? Thanks. Suze, I, I really... I'm being forced into this. That's the line. Hi, and what's your name? Uh, Martin. Nice to meet you, Martin. <laughs> oh, great. Here we go. I'm just another cock getting wired into the global economy. Oh, how should I look like? 
Bond-like neutrality, as though I'm so used to real-life naked women? Or, don't want to be rude, smiling encouragement. That's not a leer, is it? Got to avoid the leer at all costs. And the dribble. Oh, God, she looks amazing. This really should not be allowed. This is what men want, and we shouldn't be allowed to have it because it's horrible and it makes you feel sick. Oh, great. Now I'm getting an erection. How grimly predictable. When's the work going to happen? I, I'm, I'm very sorry, and you're a very attractive woman, but I have got a hell of a lot on, so... Do you want me to stop? Oh, no, 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 you go ahead. You're, you're obviously very talented, but I should just get on with this. What are you writing? Oh, just a proposal, so... We haven't written very much, have you? You should try and sum up all your aims in the first line. Right, look, this is a very complex business proposal, so I really don't think you could sum up all the aims in one line. If you can't sum up all your aims in the first line, then they're too diffuse. Look, my aims are not too fucking diffuse, OK? Fine. Jesus. They just might be too diffuse. That was all I was saying. Great. Now I'm getting an angry lap dance. Brilliant. Hey, Mark. How are you feeling? Relaxed. I, I feel really very relaxed. I really don't feel comfortable about this, Jess. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead. Uh, sorry to keep you, Mr. Corrigan. Well, this is going to be incredibly painful, but at least I'm doing the right thing, sort of. I understand you might be able to back up Jeremy's story about the... Uh... Item found in the pool. Oh, my God, he actually... He couldn't resist. Did you see Matt Townsend do this? Well, I, I didn't actually see him, but I, I have my suspicions. Why? He, he mentioned to me that he likes to do that. He did? Yes, he, he said he loves to do that. OK. I'll have a word with Matt. My apologies. But... Uh, I'm sure we can straighten this out. Not straighten out. Sack the innocent man. Uh, there was that other thing. Another thing? Yes. The other thing. Remember what you told me? About your knob? Oh, uh, yes, um, I, I, I didn't want to mention that, but... Uh, uh, Matt, he touched my penis. Karen, could you ask Matt Townsend to come to my office immediately? They say I did a poo in the pool. And I... and I touched him? Yes. Can you describe exactly what happened, Mr Corrigan? Well, uh, he, he was uh, giving me a, a massage and uh, he was going up my legs and my thighs and, and then he touched my penis and, and then he, he rubbed my penis quite a bit. And, and I said stop, but he, he wouldn't stop. Mark, why are you saying this? I don't understand. <clears throat> because, because it's true. Please, don't do this. This is my career. You should have thought about that when you were touching his cock. Oh, God, this is all so horrible. Maybe it would have been simpler just to kill him. I should know how to kill someone by now. I've watched enough CSI. I can't believe they got rid of Matt. Oh, Nance. He's a pool pooer. You know what that means? He poos in the pool. Right, I'm going to beat your ass, Corrigan. <laughs> Maybe we'll be happy ever after. Maybe I'll look back and say judo brought us together. Maybe we'll have a judo-themed wedding and get married in judo suits and I'll cut the cake with my hand. Shit, Matt. He wants to punch and kick me and he's come somewhere where he's allowed to punch and kick me. Mark? Matt, I thought you weren't working here anymore. I can still come to classes. Do you mind if I cut in? Oh, no, I'm a complete beginner, so... <laughs> Leave me alone. Mark, just fight him. We're in a class. He, he's not going to hurt you. He is going to hurt me. You're pathetic, Corrigan. Do you know that? A pathetic, flabby worm. He's here too. Oh, that's great. Thanks a lot. It's, it's all right, Jez. Y use your woman as a human shield. Matt, 
Violence never solved anything. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah, exactly. Fuck off. Well, you can't stay hiding there forever. He thinks we can't stay hiding here forever. He really doesn't know us at all, does he? I want you both to relax. This is just a safe place where I'm going to listen to whatever you have to say, however... Oh, yeah. Here we are. The field of screams, the torture chamber, the emotional dungeon. You've got this wedding coming up. How are you both feeling? Oh, she is good. Here it comes. Let it all flood out, just gently. Mark. Me? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pr pretty positive. Obviously, some tiny doubts. Don't overdo it. Mainly about the catering. Well, that seems perfectly normal. Sophie, how about you? Um, well, I just wish I felt that comfortable. Hold on. Is, is that it? Is that my go finished? Did she just believe what I said? What kind of counselling is that? She didn't wheedle anything out of me. How am I supposed to blow my emotional beans if she doesn't at least give me a wheedle? Plus, obviously, Sophie mentioned on the phone about the sexual problems in your relationship. Uh, I'm sorry? The sexual problems in your relationship. Oh, right. Are, are, are there... Um, well, I, I just feel, I don't know, unfulfilled. Unfilled? Unfulfilled. Uh, right, well, uh, I, I mean, I, I suppose I, I thought that uh, maybe Sophie might be one of those women who, who find it difficult or, or, or even impossible to uh, attain, to, to achieve. No, I'm definitely not one of those. Right. What would you say if you felt that you weren't going to be judged? I'd say... I'd say, um... This isn't going to be good. Often, um, Mark, you ejaculate quite a long time before I've had time to feel like I've started to enjoy our sex. Uh-huh. Thanks for that, Soph. Great. Well, I'll, I'll make a note of that. Well, th this has been great. Just a, a great time. Mark, it's all right. We've got 45 minutes yet. Really? 45 minutes? Oh, great. So I'll be spending one pound a minute to hear how shit I am at sex. Now that's value for money. I'll just take it to one of those massive council bins, dump and run. Just like my paper boy days. <laughs> Screw you, Murdoch. Jeremy! Hi! This is my last poster. How did you get on? Yep, good. Got rid of all of mine too. Just keep lying till the kissing can start. I mean, it'd have to be a fucking good poster to get that dog back. <sighs> I might call it a day and head back to the barge. Coming? OK. Shit. Gotta dump the evidence. Jeremy, you've dropped your bag. Yeah, so I have. Thanks, honey. Just act normal. I'll tell her what happened immediately after I've come. And uh, as, as you can see, I've been in the top 10 percentile of performers at JLB for the last three financial years in a row. So, um... Shit, I'm losing him. And uh, if you look at the bottom, you'll see that my hobbies include history and going to the movies. I like going to the movies. Of course you do. Everyone does. Man seeks woman, must be interested in film, breathing oxygen and converting protein intake into muscle energy. Hi, guys. Um, we're interrupting. We should probably... Sit down, Jez. Join the party. Any luck? No, still nothing. Bollocks. OK, Dad, time to turn on the money hose. Up the reward. Fucking hell! He's got mummy! He's brought a dead dog into my pitch, the stupid bastard! Sorry, uh, Mark. Carry on, what were you saying? Uh, 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 yes, as I was saying, I, I love cinema. Uh, especially the films of Spielberg, Lucas and uh, the man who did The Usual Suspects. What's in the bag? Oh, uh, Mark and I had a barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Yum. Have you got any left? No. No, not really. No, we were really hungry. You have got a bit left, I can see. It was really, really badly cooked. We didn't cook it at all well. Mark couldn't be bothered to get fire lighters. Well, uh, just keeping a handle on the purse strings there. The ABC, or always be cost-cutting. Uh-huh. Come on, Jess. I really don't think it's a good... Oh, we've only got cheese and hummus. What is it? It doesn't look very much it's turkey. like... What... It's turkey leg. Is that all right? What can I tell you? I'm no Ainsley Harriet. It looks weird. What's going on, Jeremy? Nothing. This is turkey. Look. See? Mmm. Just undercooked, disgusting turkey. Hey, Mark. 
Would you like some? No, thanks. Yeah, eat some turkey. No, Jeremy, it's not my turkey. I really feel since I'm eating turkey, you should eat some turkey. It was your idea to barbecue it. I really don't feel like eating turkey, Jeremy. I'm full. I'm eating dog leg. I have definitely reached a new low. What's that on it? Oh, there's hairs on it, Jeremy. Hairs? It's just a hairy turkey. What's this? Mummy? Mummy is probably the turkey's nickname. It could easily be. They ate Mummy! They burned Mummy and killed her and ate her! <laughs> Look, uh, I'll, I'll email through my references, Malcolm. Rora, I'll call you. <laughs> Guess not fitting my CV onto one side of A4 is basically irrelevant now. God, probably good things didn't work out with her. She is totally overreacting. It's not like I ate her mum or her dad. Did you actually have to eat it? I don't know. I keep wondering that. But, you know, in the moment, it really did feel like I needed to eat it. OK, we're safe up here. Were you praying just then? No, of course not. I was just kneeling. Having a nice little kneel. God, I am dying for a piss. I feel like someone's inflating a balloon full of urine inside me, and not in a good way. Shit, there's Mum and Dad. Maybe I should. It would still be okay to go down there now, just, wouldn't it? I could say I was looking for God up here. Might not be bad to look like I've gone a tiny bit mad. Where's Nancy? Why still no lovely Nancy? Fuck, Sophie. Oh my God, there she is. She looks so beautiful. How many missed calls have you got? 28. That's bullshit. I've got 73. Right, shit, I need to sort this. I mean, what am I gonna do? What's gonna happen here? Because personally, I have no idea. I really need to get to a urinal, Mark. Do you know what? I think I might actually toss a coin. I think tossing a coin might be the best available route open to me right now. You are joking. Why not? I don't seem to have any other ideas. OK. So, uh, heads, I marry. Lifetime of potential grinding resentment. Tails, I stay here, become a social outcast and turn my back on the woman I may very well love. I'm excited. I'm kind of excited too. So... Ah, uh, it's marry. I'm going to marry shit. Best of three? Yes, exactly. Best of three. Oh, heads again. Shit. Best of five? No, the coin has spoken. Great. Let's get out of here. I am busting. No, I'm not getting married. You're overruling the coin? Well, the coin isn't actually the boss of me, Jeremy, and how I felt when it told me to marry makes me think I definitely shouldn't. So, uh, text everyone. T text everyone to tell them that. A text? Yeah. T tell them... T tell them I'm, I'm doing a Stephen Fry. We're in Brussels. I'm eating chips and mayonnaise. I'm on the edge. You, you found a blanket under the garage door and I'm wearing an overcoat and, and, and no one should approach me and, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks and everything's fine. Maybe we'll have a wedding in a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm on the edge. Stress that. Everyone needs to be kind to me. Text that. You want me to send all that to everyone? I'll cover the cost. OK, fine, man. But first, I, I can't go on any longer. My bladder. I'm busting. Well, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do, is there? Let me piss in that prayer bucket. Prayer bucket? There's no such thing as... That's just a bucket. OK, I'm going to creep up to the bucket. No, 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 you can't move. What am I going to do then? I can't hold on. If you really can't hold it in, then you'll just have to piss yourself. You're telling me to piss myself? Yes, if you've got to go, piss yourself. Is this what it's come to? Yes, and do it quietly. Great. And what shall I do after I've pissed myself? Fuck myself? Eat myself? You're such a... Are you doing it already? Yes, I'm doing it already. I'm so pathetic that as soon as you ordered me to piss myself, I started the procedure. This is what you've done. You've ground down my sense of self-worth over the years. I hope you're proud. When are you going to stop? Not for a bit. Stop, Jeremy. S stop it. It's, it's going down the cracks. I can't stop. Stop! Oh, piss yourself. Stop pissing yourself. It's not that simple. The floodgates are open. I'm ordering you to stop! You're being a real dick about this, aren't you? Oh my God, this has got to be a dream. Nothing this bad could ever happen in reality. What am I going to do? Throw myself off? Surprise! Uh, hello, it, it's, it's me. Look, I, I've surprised you. What, what, a, what a brilliant joke.
And so, in a sense, Sophie and Mark, here before us, are not just marrying each other, but marrying all of us today. Are you sure you want to do this, Under God's Of course. Of course I want to do this. This is great. It's just what they're hiding. I wasn't hiding, so it, it was a stag thing. And it really, really worked. Uh, everyone was so surprised, especially you. Brilliant. But first, I am required to ask anyone present who knows the reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. Oh, please, someone, save me. Jeremy? Spacemen? The vows you are about to take are to be made in the name of God, who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. He's ladling it on now. Is that the proper thing? He hasn't just put that in to needle me, has he? <coughs> oh, great. Now she's crying, and I probably look like a wife beater. It's not fair. I'm unhappy too. Will you take Sophie Hortensia Chapman? Hortensia? Oh, this is a fucking disaster. Look at me. I'm one of those men women read about in their magazines. And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. That's it. I've ruined it. I've ruined my life. You only get one life, and I've ruined mine. As long as you both shall live. Please don't say I will. I will. Oh. Then I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> You may kiss the bride. Tears of joy. They're tears of joy. That's the line we both stick to now and for the rest of our miserable lives. <laughs> <laughs>